The overall cost of the new training facility is around $20 million, with the $3 million grant from the fire district acting as an initial step to help get some infrastructure in place. Over time, the city will look for other means to collect the remaining funds. We'll continue to look for grants, we'll continue to look for partnerships, and we'll continue to find resources to be able to create a, a world-class training facility that all fire departments in Magic Valley can, can benefit from. The new facility will provide rookie and veteran firefighters the chance to practice certain scenarios that the department typically could not replicate. We want to really spend a lot of focus time on our low-frequency, high-risk type of event to train for. So, so those are things that we don't do on a daily, everyday basis in the field or on that everyday call, but we don't have the ability to train on those. This facility will have those components. The city has managed to reduce the cost of a proposed $36 million bond in 2019 to build the new stations for $11 million because the stations will be smaller than originally proposed and through two separate revenue anticipation notes issued by the city's general fund and the city's enterprise fund. Each fire station is going to cost about $7 million, but we're able to buy down the cost of fire station number two with impact fees that have been collected through uh, the issuance of building permits for a considerable period of time. And so we'll take that $3 million, we'll buy down the $7 million to four, and so that's how you create an $11 million price tag. Both houses are about 50 to 60 years old with outdated technology, living standards, and decay. To help accommodate more modern standards, one change will add an area for equipment to be properly cleaned to limit exposure to potential health hazards. When we come back from a fire where we have our dirty gear, dirty apparatus, uh, we keep all that area contained into one area and, uh, and locations to be able to de de decontaminate those, those, the equipment, uh, our gear, that sort of thing. The new stations will have that capability. Officials hope the new training facility will be up and running within a year and the two new stations by late 2022 or early 2023. In Twin Falls, I'm Alex Grant, Idaho News 6.